Welcome to the Mason Libraries tutorial on using concept maps to plan your research. After viewing this tutorial, you will be able to define concept mapping and create one for your research. Before we create a concept map, let's talk about what it is and why it can help. A concept map is a visual representation of how you understand information. It helps you frame your topic and discover new ideas for your research. Concept maps can be charts, diagrams, or lists, whatever format you choose. Use a concept map before beginning your research to help you develop a deeper understanding of your topic. These maps can also save you time during the research process as you will know what words to use in your searching. To create your own concept map, you can use a variety of free online tools, simple pencil and paper, or download the template in the video description. In this tutorial, we are going to go over one main concept map type, the diagram. A diagram concept map helps you connect your initial topic with other ideas. Begin by writing your main topic in a bubble or square in the center of the page. We are going to use the topic student success. Then, you will create other bubbles to include topics connected to your main topic. If you are stuck, divide your bubbles into things you know about this topic, things you don't know about this topic, key terms, and questions you have about the topic. Some branches we can make for our topic include risk factors, groups involved, and solutions. Continue building upon these branches to explore other areas of the topic. The diagram is just one way to visualize your thoughts. You can also create concept maps in a hierarchical list format. This can be helpful to order things from big picture to details. Experiment with these different formats to discover the best method to help you frame your topic and discover new ideas for your research. Thank you for watching this tutorial on defining and creating concept maps. If you have other questions, please refer to our ever-expanding How Do I page or use our Ask a Librarian service.